The NCAA Final Four is continuing to make an impact in the North Texas area. On Saturday, it hosted three Coca-Cola youth clinics, and I'm outside the LZ Odom Athletic Center, where inside, it's busy with activity. We all decided to come up here and help the kids today. Coach wanted us to come, and we all felt like we needed to come, so we're just giving back to the community. The Coca-Cola NCAA Youth Clinics are a community outreach program that connects kids grades 3 through 8 and provides them with resources designed to have a lasting impact. The first station that we did with footwork, so we had four cones, and we had to um, slide, then run, then slide, then um, step, um, keep running back, and the next one was the ladders, where we had to jump with two feet but in each one. Well, we did drills, played games, and um, just had fun the whole day. It's a good opportunity to give back to a sport that gives us so much. You know, not only as coaches, but as players. I was a former player as well. Um, it's a good opportunity to, to touch some lives. These young kids here are having a great time. They don't probably get an opportunity to do this all the time. So this is a good opportunity for us to kind of touch some lives and give them some inspiration to, to a sport that we love so much. Participants receive coaching instruction from NCAA coaches and student athletes and get valuable information on fitness, healthy lifestyles, and sportsmanship. What did you learn at the youth clinic? To, to practice hard and do your best. And if you lose, keep on trying until you win. He had to keep trying to make, to make everything better so your plan will go right. What I learned at the rec today is always try your best and never give up. What I learned today is how to do the how to work up my basketball handles. Don't never quit your team. If you just get mad, just calm down, and then if you if when you calm down, just play again. You know, work hard. You know, working hard, never giving up, and you know, and having passion to do doing something that you love to do. I learned that um, it's not about offense, it's also about defense, and, you, and it's important to talk to your teammates so they can come help you. I, I loved that. It had great defense, and I loved just the different fundamentals they taught me. Um, I like the defense, um, and basically all of it, because it just made me better um, at this sport of basketball. I learned more about my triple threat and how to shoot with my left hand. I learned not just offense, but defense too, because I need to work on that more than my offense. Well, it probably get me farther, because they said that people who play defense, uh, coaches like uh, more coaches like the players who uh, play more defense than offense. I learned how like you can get open and create shots for yourself. I learned like a bunch of different skills, like like how to dribble and like shooting and like the correct forms and defense and offense. Well, this youth clinic really helped me in my basketball skills and taught me some moo moves and stuff. And I just enjoyed the camp and it was super duper fun. This year there were close to 1,000 open spots for children to register, but sometimes it's making a difference with just one that makes it worthwhile. Even if it touches just one child, I mean, it's, 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 it's a lasting impression that they'll be able to remember from, from years down the line. There's a lot of coaches here from different universities that they'll be able to see on TV later on next season and, and say, hey, that coach worked with me and he changed my life. What I'm going to do is never quit and always try my best because one day I might be in a professional NBA. Me too. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Rhiannon Rowley.